Hi, everyone. I'm Miles Hischer, Director of Sales at Highview, a Google Cloud partner. Uh, I'm joined here today with a few of my colleagues to talk about um, Chrome pricing, um, ordering processes, and uh, what deployment looks like. I'm here with uh, Julio, one of our cloud engineers, and, and David from our change management team. How's it going today, guys? Very good. All great. Good. Thanks here. for having us. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and Chrome is a big topic. A lot of our customers ask about it. So we just wanted to create this quick video to address pricing, the ordering process and deployment. We do have some other videos about the features of Chrome uh, in greater detail. So definitely check those out. Um, so on the pricing topic, um, depending on uh, your organization, if, if you're an education entity, nonprofit or um, a business, uh, you will have different uh, Chrome licenses um, for your entity. Um, for EDU accounts, encourage you to contact Google directly or the Google partner you've been working with. For nonprofit accounts, um, it's basically $35 per license, and that's a perpetual uh, license fee. Um, and then for all businesses, all for profit entities, um, you fall under the uh, Chrome Enterprise license, which is $50 per license per year. Now, the nonprofit licenses are tied to the life of the device and must be repurchased for an additional device. The annual um, Chrome Enterprise licenses, which most of you uh, at companies will be buying um, at $50 per license per year, is a fee that's paid every year. So just a heads up there. Um, on the ordering process, so um, Julio, if I'm, a, if I'm a customer and I'm looking to get started with Chrome, um, what would the ordering process look like? Well, it depends. If your billing relationship is directly with Google, now you have the option to add uh, Chrome Enterprise licenses as a service. It is just under apps, add new service, and you will be able to add the service and you can purchase it directly from the admin console. If you have a relationship, a billing relationship with one of your uh, the Google partners, you will need to order uh, the licenses through them so they can provision the licenses and they will be available for you to use, right? Um, regarding uh, what the next step, once that you have the licenses in your admin console, um, it is very important uh, to know that in, in the, during the first step of the deployment, uh, you will need to connect the Chrome device to an open network uh, because the device needs access to certain URLs. So for example, if you have a well filter proxy or any other network appliance that is uh, doing any type of in inspection, at least for the uh, enrollment process, uh, you will need to uh, connect the device to an open network and you will need to whitelist uh, a list of uh, URLs uh, that are provided by Google as well. Uh, you perform a series uh, of key combinations and after that you will be prompted for the admin account. You enter the, the, the admin account and that's it. The device is enrolled. You can move it through different organizational units, apply the rules, and it is ready to use. And it's a matter of just a couple of minutes. Great. Uh, that's a fantastic overview, Julio. Thank you. Um, for IT admins out there that are considering getting started with Chrome, Chrome devices, uh, you can contact us. Even if you have a direct relationship with Google, we could actually transfer your account over to Highview, uh, provide assistance with your Chrome ordering and deployment process, as well as um, uh, provide partner G Suite support for you moving forward uh, at no additional cost. So um, thanks for watching and please contact us, sales at highviewsolutions.com or highviewsolutions.com on the web. Thank you.